What's up? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, so, as you just saw, a couple clips of my racing this season. Uh, we're going to roll right back into uh, racing clips of the 2019 season. These are some old clips that I've had. Um, that's why I'm doing this this way and not having intro videos. Um, yeah, here we go. Uh, we're going to go right into Dirty Diesel Dino event uh, in Kelowna, BC. Uh, Great time, and yeah, you'll see what happens. and five horsepower a bunch of boost issues no boost leaks because I did check for those um, truck only made 30 psi boost uh, so stock injector uh, LBZ uh, twin CP3s fast 220 has all the fuel as you can see in the video um, just not making the boost uh, something to do with the veins I think but um, yeah there you go Now that was my first pass, uh, racing the truck this season, uh, again, fresh truck out this year, so a bunch of issues right away, um, had some injector issues, so I was going to pull the injector out and change it out for a stock reman from BD, and while undoing the bolt, uh, snapped the hold down bolt off, so drilled and tapped, which I thought was good enough and uh, actually did a time cert first blew that out had to rebend the injector line whole bunch of issues in between here uh, I'll throw some pictures of that in here and yeah it was uh, quite the hassle <laughs> So a bunch of passes there. I um, was pretty happy. It was about the, uh, the weekend after go to uh, Woodburn, Oregon. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it was. Uh, I needed to get the truck back running. So fixed the hold down as best as I could. I actually 
probably didn't do it the right way, but it, it held. Um, so it went to 1203 there, um, and it was doing its thing, but obviously at 1203 you're going to really want an 11, and didn't get it done at the two track days I showed there in the last videos. Um, so yeah, off to Woodburn we went. So truck made, um, I was pretty happy with it, a new updated tune file from uh, Danville Performance um, and it made uh, 559 I think it was um, and it was still only making about 32 psi boost so a lot more left on the table but that was uh, what I had to work with for the weekend so pretty low horsepower but remember stock, stock injector don't want to push it and burn up a piston so and uh yeah we went right to racing doctor of the dinos and diesels sdp twin what was that devin white uh, devin is a landless british columbia Meanwhile, Mark goes 12.32 at 116 miles an hour. So truck finally did what I wanted it to do. It uh, it finally got up and went. Uh, actually, no video of the past because it was actually kind of frustrating. I uh, got eliminated by one of my friends running the 11. Uh, well, it was index class, so I I um, set my index for 11.95, I think, and went at 12.15, and he just squeezed into the 11s, and he set his index better and had a better reaction time so beat me out and was a bit frustrated so but there was a test and tune line so went straight into the testing and tune line didn't tell anyone and 
was just a bit frustrated. Um, got up on the converter and let her go, and it did a 11.91, and I uh, was super pumped with that, um, super excited. Uh, came back to uh, the pits, um, was going to load in my second gear launch to see if I could launch a little bit better, get my 60 foot down. And while I was doing that, some nice gentleman pointed out that my rear tire had a puncture and was leaking, so I had a hole in my slick, so that was the end of the weekend for me. But a uh, great weekend nonetheless, great friends. I uh, took home a bunch of trof trophies back to Canada. Um, yeah, it was a great time, great weekend. So, And uh, yeah, here we go right into racing at uh, Mission Raceway, a local track, about 10 minutes from my house. Um, yeah, here you go. Alright guys, there you have it. Uh, it was a pretty good final um, pass, passes in the season. Um, went a lot of 12s, 12 1s, 12 2s. Um, squeezed out a, a bunch of 11 second passes in the end, uh, 11 9s. And then the final pass, um, or not the final pass, one of my last passes of the season was a 11 84 at 117. So really good mile per hour for what it has for power. Um, it does weigh 4,800 pounds. Um, it's not light, but for the diesel scene, it's pretty. It's a pretty light truck. Uh So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, this is just a little recap of 2019 season. Um, I'll do a bunch of updates, shop updates, house updates, race truck updates, daily driver updates, lots of updates coming after the 2019 season. Um, 
this year was a bit of a bust, no racing, but uh, still a few things to post, and uh, yeah, maybe 2021 winter, there will be a bunch of update videos, a bunch of, um, I'll also be posting a bunch of videos on the Daily Driver, some towing stuff, some, um, yeah, just some basic information on Duramaxes, I'm not some Duramax expert, but uh, I know enough to get myself into trouble, so uh, yeah, there you have it. Um, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, and uh, see you in the new year.